Hello, everybody. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Sorry for the late stream. A little bit late today. Had an emergency family thing I had to attend to, but everything's okay now, so let's get right into it. All right, Bitcoin heavy pullback back down to 21,000 as you can see the SPY getting a big down day today down over you know one and a half percent basically the Nasdaq killing it down two percent and the Russell 2000 down more than two percent 2.17 so big big down day today in the markets again our shorts are definitely loving it especially the stock trades Stock trades are really ripping down. Texas Instruments, beautiful short there. Again, we are bouncing off that 200 day. So we're going to see if we're going to keep holding this as support or are we going to give in and then move some move to move back down towards the downside, potentially make a new lower low as the markets do take their first, you know, bit of a down day after this massive run up. So let's take a look at our, uh, a couple other positions that we are in and in the money. I believe our Uber short is running at the moment as well. Where's my Uber? Uber is here, right here at $29. And look at that, that beautiful pullback right at $33, $32. You could have entered right here and boom, you're already up around almost 10%, I believe, down on this on this trade. 11%, we are up 11% on this trade. Absolutely killing it on the stock trade. So congratulations to you guys following those ones. Let's keep it. Hello, Broadband. How are you doing today, my friend? Uh, all right, let's cover a few more positions that we have as well. A little bit of a short on Apple, but again, this one's gonna is gonna take probably take a little bit more time to play out. But again, you can see get running into some heavy resistance. RSI extremely overbought. You know, again, you know, just a reminder: this is a bear market rally. You know, we're not out of the woods. And that's why Bitcoin is tanking right now. Bitcoin is a risk asset and will sell off along with the other markets as well. And especially Bitcoin first, you know, Bitcoin, a lot of that trust is gone after that big, big dump that we got back down from the Terra Luna. You know, that really kind of ruined everything in Celsius and Voyager and Three Arrows Capital. That kind of, uh, you know, ruined, ruined it, ruined it all for everyone. Let's take a look at our Ave. Ave, we made a beautiful short on Ave. We closed our position, I believe, 11% profit. Let me just go double check our st our spot trades for crypto or crypto. We closed our, let's take a look here, Ave trade. 18%. Uh, we got an 18% winner on our Ave trade. You can take a look at SHIB. We actually shorted SHIB. We'll take a look at SHIB right now. SHIB was a funny one. Shiba Inu, lots of, lots of dog coin traders out here. We did short SHIB right at this line right here and perfectly got rejected. And now we are retesting this level as support. And we do have a bit of a position right now that is slightly in the money, but we're going to have to wait to see how it plays out in the coming days. Can we go lower? Absolutely. If Bitcoin does start to take another leg down, then you will see Shiba Inu follow as well. Lots of changing the shit coins now. I'm long from 20,900. 20, I'm long from 21,750. Don't know if I hold or just cut my losses or accept that we go down. Well, again, I'm still in my longs as well. And I'm holding it, obviously, guys. So something to think about is that, you know, we are still in September. There's still about two and a half weeks. I guess you could say two weeks if you want to stretch it. Two weeks left in this month. And you know when we got low volume in the markets, the trend is usually going to be you know the buy the dip. You know retailers are gonna be like, oh my god, this is a great opportunity to buy the dip, and they're gonna you know when it's low volume, it's sideways movement or it tends to trend to the upside. So just pay attention to that. A lot of people think we could potentially you know start to or to zigzag back down to this 50-day moving average, which is absolutely you know it's it is possible. It is is it is it is a possibility. But just pay attention, you know, those meme stocks are flying again. Bed, Bath & Beyond, absolutely going crazy. Let's take a look at that quickly before we move on. Bed, Bath & Beyond. Uh, where is it? Where's my meme? Where's my meme? 
my meme stocks there we go bed bath and beyond a 40 percent down and unfortunately my broker was not filling my order so you guys weren't able to catch these trades you know i was trying to place some orders and all my orders were getting rejected this could have been a beautiful 60 percent gainer up for us even you know i would have closed it maybe on the first first leg down you know especially in a meme stock like this you know i probably would have closed it 40 40 percent profit instead or 30 percent profit but you know unfortunately brokers not filling my orders all orders are getting rejected i think lots of brokers are not taking any risk or maybe there's just no shares to short same thing for hkd we were trying to short this around 20,500, and you know what it wouldn't fill my god orders of 20,400 we we're trying to short and that would have been a short of a lifetime again a 93 percent dump on this stock this stock pumped up from the lows of around i believe eight bucks and it went as high as two thousand dollars so that was absolutely insane i think this was like a six thousand eighteen thousand percent pump in a stock so that's pretty crazy that is something you don't see every day so looks like heavy manipulation there <laughs> but uh yeah moving on let's take a few look at a few other ones that we would that we made some trades on for you guys don't forget to yeah big like don't forget to uh to smash that like button yeah choice title we could potentially be going back down to seventeen thousand. you know it is a possibility that we retest the lows right here i talked about this in a couple of other videos that we could potentially form a bigger w pattern on some larger time frames you know i think it was on the weekly that we were looking at it yeah we could potentially maybe do this you know zigzag down and then, then we could go up, or, or is it going to, you know, take our neck a next leg down? And get the, a lot of this is going to be relying on what the traditional markets do, the S and P 500. Those will be leading the direction of Bitcoin. If the S and P, you know, starts to go back up and we test this resistance again, and we start to chop sideways against this heavy resistance area, then yeah, I could definitely see Bitcoin reversing back towards the upside, maybe getting some more upside, potentially retesting. 26,000 you know we're still you know obviously this this big down day it's got a lot of people very bearish now again let's take a look at those green vector candles do we have one on the daily time frame yes we do we have a big red vector candle on the daily time frame so that is something to pay attention to we also have some on the four hour candles as well let's take a look at that 12 hour do we have one on the 12th we do we do so it's back up here at 23,300 the daily is up to 23,200 so maybe opening some small you know low leverage long positions right now isn't the worst idea again none of this is financial advice i do not share trades on on youtube uh anymore because um <laughs> it's against the youtube rule so don't forget to smash that like button maybe we'll do some more giveaways i know i can't afford the membership yeah yeah so that, that one i already read if you can't afford the membership guys don't join you know, forty dollars is all you have in your account. Don't join. Just go get some education, a better job, a better paying job, and then you can have some trading funds. And then you know, you can afford to lose some because you don't want to trade with what you're going to pay your rent with. Because what if you trade and you you make a huge mistake, you blow up your account, then you can't pay rent, then you're out on the streets, and you're worse off than you were from the beginning, right? So you want to play it safe, get a get a stable job, and then. Use those funds and the money that you save to trade. And then potentially if you're really good at it, then you could quit your job and you can keep trading full time. But you always want to have a safety net. And trading with money that you can't afford to lose is not is not a, is not a great idea. I know a lot of people just want to join and keep doubling their money. I just want to double and double and double. And it sounds so easy. And it's, they just they don't care. They just want to see how you can just keep doubling. And this it's really that's not... It's not how it works, you know. They just want to 100x leverage their accounts, but that's not how it's that's not how it works, guys. Or maybe it is, you know. <laughs> you guys are amazing traders. You just keep doubling your accounts every trade. All right, let's cover a few more things. It won't be a long live stream today. We gotta get we gotta get into Discord. Oh, mix up long time. Hello, hello. Uh, Jason, when I stop spamming, I love this channel. I'm being patient, waiting for the blood on the streets. I believe 
Oh my god, Nightbot, stop, 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 stop banning everyone. I gotta, I gotta get into a habit of turning off the Nightbot when we do the live streams, because it's really annoying. It keeps blocking people when they want to talk. Disable, 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 disable. There we go. Alright, turn the Nightbot off for a little bit. Oh my god. It's a melee bot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll just post. I'll post what what the what Jason is trying to say. He said this. He said, "I believe we're in the denial stage of the market cycle of psychology, especially if you look at the uptrend on psychology chart. This next drop will cause people to panic. Yes, that would be amazing if we could actually break 17k and make a lower low. But in my opinion, what could be starting to play out is that." Again, there's two possible. There's two scenarios that could really happen, and it's one of them is you know this is it, and we we're, we're making our next leg down, and I'd say we just get one touch point or barely a touch point, and then we start to make our next leg down to our lower lows or potentially to the lows back down to here. But ultimately, I'm still eyeing the t previous 2020 highs, which people are saying is outrageous. How could you say such a thing? You're delusional. We're never gonna go back down. This is this was the bottom. And again, you know, they don't know what they're, you know, saying because, you know, they don't know what a bear market is. All they know is a bull market and it's to buy the dip. And every dip that keeps coming and keep coming, they're running out of capital. Maybe they've run out of capital. That's why we're so delusional, apparently. It's because they they're, they're, they aren't willing to accept that we can make lower lows. You can see a 15% dump and then we got a 13% pump, right? And now we got a... 21% dump or depending on how you measure it uh, you know you could you could say that you know we stopped right here 17% dump and then we got a little bit of a pump here a 10% pump and then another dump towards the downside another 13% dump and then from here on we have a massive rally of 18% 19% pushing it and now you know are we going to get our next leg down is this going to be a 21% dump you know these 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 this can absolutely happen bear markets bear market rallies are just absolutely crazy. You can make a huge amount of money. And that's how we made such. We were bagging our winners. You know, we're closing our, our our long positions as the rally was continuing, and as we were getting close to this resistance, we started entering our short positions. And you know what? Some of them are already in the green, and it's just you know people are in denial. Vector candles will always be recovered. You damn right, Michael. Wow, well, Nightbot timed out for one entire day it seems 86,000 seconds never seen that yeah how do you I, we want to i don't want uh these people to be bad <laughs> 10k here we come baby burn 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 <laughs> these are old messages that have been blocked uh, let's see what jason said i'll just post what jason said i'll post what post it for so that everyone can read it jason said i love this channel i'm being patient and waiting for the blood on the streets i believe what everyone says that Bitcoin will, I believe, when everyone says that Bitcoin's no longer good anymore, we will be at the bottom. And yeah, maybe that's what we need. You know, maybe we need to break a, a Benjamin Cohen's logarithmic growth scale and punch through the lows and go to 10,000 and below. And then people really start to panic and people are, you know, they're, they're fucking, they're, they're, they're saying all sorts of things like, God, they're so stupid. This is the bottom. You know, and maybe maybe we we are gonna get a significant rally, but uh, we'll, we'll 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 see. We'll we'll play it as it goes. Let's play it by ear. Let's look at the charts and see what the charts are telling us. And you know what? We've made some amazing trades right now, and and the altcoins as well. You, no leverage, making amazing trades as well. Just swing trading these altcoins, making great bucks. So let's take a look at a few other trades that we've made this week. I want to cover a few more. Let's take a look. We did take a loss. Again, it's all obviously not all roses and green. I'm going to have to update the profit loss history on the spot trades. I've had a crazy week, if you guys didn't know. It was it was interview week and it was, you know, as, as I was in over my head. I had too much stuff to do and I was losing my mind. <clears throat> oh, it's Empow in the Discord, by the way. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I could tell you kind of have the same, the same logo, the same uh, thumbnail. How you been, man? 
You gotta you gotta chat more in the Discord. When the when the markets are are tanking and it's all red, he shows up and he puts the fire in the chat and he makes every he makes everything worse. <laughs> he makes everyone pet himself. <laughs> and it makes everything worse. Let's take a look at sand. Sand, unfortunately, we had to take a bit of a loss on sand. Uh, not the greatest trade, but again, let's take a look right here. Sand, <clears throat> in my opinion, started to break that support line right here. And then you know what? That's this is this area at this point. I said we're we're starting to go past these previous lows. Let's cut the trade. And good thing that we did because you know what? We took another leg down, and this one was 14%. You know, we took another 14% dump from there, so that would have, that would have cut us. That was that would have instead of losing a, a finger, we would have maybe lost a hand on that trade. So, again, sometimes when being a good trader, you just gotta know when to cut your losses as well. So, let's just see how this one plays out. Probably gonna add another support line, probably at the previous lows, maybe around this area as well. You can see we've got some some two pivot lows right there. You got a pivot low here, pivot low there. And then when you came back up, you retested this as resistance. So we're going to be taking a look at that level to potentially maybe place a long there. So a bit of a free trade there for you guys. And again, there's no free lunch. Just know that. There's no free lunch. There's all pro It's only probabilities. And none of this is financial advice. So a bit of a loss on that trade right there. And a CVC short. So we shorted CVC. Again, a lot of these coins are pumping and dumping right now. You can take a look at CVC is a short that we pulled off right here. Basically shorted around the 20 cents area and we closed it around 17% in profit around the 16 cents mark. Some people still holding on up over 24%. So congratulations to you guys. Bagging some winners. Just 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 stacking them sats or stacking the USDT, whatever you want. Whatever you want to call it. It's so boring. I'll do, I'll do scale shorts on the pump and take profit. Shout out to Miki. Thanks for your insight. I tend to agree with you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Evening, night, and morning. Morning from my side. Evening and etc. Et to all. Uh, let's take a look at a few other things right now. I can't be going on too long. Maybe five more minutes. And we're going to go into Discord and we're going to have our discussion about the markets like for every Friday night that we do all right so if you guys want to see the trades you guys can join the discord links in the description we do spot trades leverage trades uh, so we got something big coming for leverage trades I'm gonna be introducing maybe some uh, some some new features that maybe some people will like so well let's let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's test it out it's good it's gonna be coming in the coming weeks don't want to rush anything Gold getting a big pullback and silver as well, coming in, running into some support again. But uh, let's see if these levels hold. If silver does make a new low, then you can probably start to take a look at this white line right here at $18.29. So those are the levels I'm going to be looking at. And finally, natural gas really trying to break out right now. You know, let's be careful for natural gas. You know, one 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 thing can happen in, in the in the in the uh, in, in Europe. And that gas can shoot up to maybe fifteen dollars. You don't know how how volatile this thing can get. Let's take a look at the previous price history. You know you can see that gas go up from seven bucks all the way to fourteen dollars. You know it doesn't take too long. Again, obviously these are weekly candles, but still this is a massive run up in natural gas. So if we if we are going to make a trade on that gas, I, we're, I'm going to be using leveraged ETFs, and I'm going to be letting you guys know what we're going to be doing there. Also, sometimes, you know, being patient and just sitting on your hands is what being a good trader is all about. It's just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for that 90% probability trade that's going to give you that nice win that you've been waiting for. You know, people who are impatient and say, I need to trade every day are usually the ones that tend to lose the most. Oh, all right. I'm sick of my whole YouTube feed on crypto saying how the pump will go, how the pump will go or whatever. It's a bear market, two years minimum until we see fireworks for a long time. Yeah, it's a bear market. It is a bear market. And I don't know. You know, people are calling for new all time high. None, well, I, don't, I don't know if I've seen all new all time highs, but I've seen like call outs for 50,000, uh, 
58,000. In my opinion, I don't think so, given what's going on in the economy. The Fed is obviously going to tighten a little bit more. You can see that the DXY is pumping back up to these levels right here. And we might even break it. We might even make a new high. If we do make a new high in the DXY, then you, I, I can almost guarantee you Bitcoin will go down. It will make a new low. And people are just in denial. They can't accept it. I cannot. I went all in at 20K. I put my whole, more. I mortgaged my house and I bought Bitcoin at 20K because that's the bottom. And you know what? If it does go, end up going down, then they're going to lose 50% <laughs> of, of what they put in because they just hodl. But they can't trade. They just hodl. They just buy. And you, it's crazy to me. And yeah, guys. That's basically it. Not going to talk too long on YouTube. Going to get into Discord. You guys know where I stand. You guys can see all my trades there. Profit loss history is posted on uh, my website. I'm going to update it tonight with the Discord as we make our discussion. So stay tuned for that. If you guys saw, if you guys see this video, maybe check in an hour or two. And it should be all updated then. Love you guys. Peace. Thank you so much for your support. And if you guys want to sign up for BitGet Trading, which is, by the way, the sponsor of this channel, the link's in the description. Help support the channel and you can get up to $4,163 in bonuses if you complete all the tasks. And on top of that, you help support the channel. Love you guys. Peace.